Happy hearties. A very good morning to you. Sunday morning, of course, and here we all are. Nothing gets past me. Lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky-do from me, Scotty McClue. How fantastic is that? Just steady you all up there. There we go. Fantastic. Now, um, I'll just make sure that we've got everything ready. There we are, and there we are. Right. Job done. Jobs a good one, I say. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Flowtie, first lord of the internet. We never scroll, we never troll. Follow us as soon as you come on. It's great fun, and we get some lovely, lovely chat going, and it's the way to start your Sunday morning. Time just gone a quarter past ten on Sunday the 22nd. Uh, there we are, 22nd of August. How amazing is that? Wonderful, and we've all got here, and we're doing our best. We send love across the world. We pray for the people of Afghanistan, and we hope that the people of violence will give them safe passage, grant them safe passage, I say. So there you are. That's uh, that's the opening chit-chat for you. Uh, yesterday, we had the most tremendous day, I've got to tell you. We did a rehearsal. You'll see it on the YouTube channel for the up and coming phone in program. And we tested the phones last night on program three of cars and they work. <laughs> so there we go. So we'll be getting the number out there for the YouTube phone in and make sure that you do not miss a second of that. In fact, I think I've even got it handy. So there you go. Uh, the Scotty McClue YouTube phone in call Scotty 0141628 that's going to be the number, so make sure you get a note of that. But near the time, we'll let everybody know. So there you are. Can you name a footballer for an edit? George Best. Tremendous stuff. Cork play Limerick today in, in the All Ireland final. So say big up Cork. Is it at the hurling of the football? You have to tell me, you see, because uh, there's so many things that Cork and Limerick could be playing against each other and for each other and with each other. Hello, Scotty. How are you, Kareem? How can I thank you for last night coming and joining us on the phone-in and for phoning in? It worked great. I'll get a little splitter, Kareem, and we'll see if we can get the headset going so everybody can hear you and uh, and hear me as well. Good morning, you impressive man, Dinky Doo Dangul. How lovely to have you with us and a big Dinky Doo to you. This is a lovely, lovely start to Sunday morning. All the beautiful people on TikTok coming and joining us for TikTok's top talk show. Uh, my dog died yesterday. I'm so sorry to hear that. To talk. I'm in your walls. What a lovely thing to say, Will. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. We like good spirits in the walls. <coughs> now, where are you from, says Dylan. Dylan, I am from TikTok. I am Mr. TikTok, Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai. That is the big one. I'm from Scotland in the United Kingdom. Jellyfish, we've done all that name of footballers. So there you go. Uh, that's it. We just do one per program. So if you're not in on time, you don't get it. Kareem, what are you doing? Kareem has very, very kindly given me TikToks. I'm saving up for some equipment for the new phone-in. And if anybody's got any spare TikToks, you're very welcome. But remember, you're not obliged in any way, shape, or form because Scotty McClue accepts applause or derision on his merits. That's what it's all about. Thank you so much. So there we are. And dinky-doo. Uh, Kareem has sent me eight beautiful TikToks. I thank you, Kareem. You're a very kind and generous man. And you sent a pound last night live on the YouTube channel. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, get started. Because this will be very big. And there will be an absolute media scrum for places on the uh, on the website on YouTube. There you go. You'll see the URL right in front of you. So it's not rocket science. And if you can follow me and like, tap the top left. There we are. Why do you describe yourself in the third person? So I can remember who I am, my dead dog. It's very important. Yes, it did. Scotty, when is the phone in? Glenn, it could be starting any time. We ran the equipment last night. Okay, it is a bit of refining. Kareem was our first caller. And we know the phone works. So there we go. Max, we've done our footballer for this morning. Sorry. 
Hello, Scotty Dinky Doo. Hello, Toby. OMG, hi, Scotty. I missed you, Greece. How lovely to have you with us. We did the thought program of cars last night. Uh, good morning, mate. Good morning, Leighton. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, a warm welcome to Scotty McClure's TikTok. Can I phone you, Scotty? Yes, you can, Glenn, once we get it working. It's not switched on at the moment, but there's the number for you, Glenn. So make a little note of that. Scotty McClure, YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now, 0141 9795 Everybody take a screenshot of that one, because that will come in very handy in the days to come. I'm new to this. Scarlet, you're very welcome. Scarlet Pimpernel, how wonderful to have you with us. If you're new to it, a warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Flutai, first lord of the internet, and we are live on TikTok. Do you watch any sports? I have done, Toby. I'm not really big on it. Obviously, I watched the rugby, and I watched the, um, the Euros when Scotland were playing England. Uh, good morning from Dumfries. Heading to Gretna Outlet later on. Now, just be very careful coming out, Upa, because I've noticed that um, they, they like you to stick to the 30 miles an hour limit there. So do be careful. But what a lovely part of the world, Gretna. Hey, Scotty, just wishing you a fantastic day before I go to bed. Sean, how amazing are you? It must be 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I just joined and missed the number. Gordon and Oliver here. Gordon. Yes, there we are, sir. Especially for you. Anything for you, really, because you're a top man. The Scotty McClure YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now. 0141 9795 And as far as I know, that number will be absolutely free. One of the reasons I would think so is because I've paid for it. <laughs> so there we are. Um, so, have you got that one, Gordon? Any good? Got it? Excellent. Thank you. Not at all. Uh, good morning, brother. Good morning, Richard. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky-doo to you. There we are. Top of the morning to Scotty Kenneth. Good morning. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo. I say, lots happening. So, just to put you in the picture there, the Scotty McClue phone in on YouTube should be starting quite soon. Also, there's talk of a big radio station. All right. Very, very important. Grace says, is this man leaking his number on purpose? Grace, of course. It's a phone-in, dear. It's one of the biggest public platforms on the Internet. So just you get that number leaked right out there, big style. I can't tell you. There we are. Have we got it? Top of the morning, Scotty. Grace, if you're new to this, you might not understand Scotty McClue is known internationally by two billion people, all right? So we're known all around the world, and obviously newer generations are joining us now. But I'm in my 40th year of broadcasting and my 30th year of the late night phone-in program. So everybody loves all that, you see. Hello, babe, you look gorgeous today. Aren't you lovely, TH34? So there we go. Uh, Scotty, do you use the wizard for the phone in? Well, we haven't recruited the wizard as per yet, but who knows what the future might bring. See, we're just going to try these things. We'll maybe do one night a week, an hour or two, just to see if there's a demand for it. You know, that sort of stuff. Yes, for years, absolutely, Richard. Can you say very nice? They were very nice. They are very nice. No hate, you should get a better phone for higher quality lives. Yes, indeed, there's no hate allowed, you see. Why do you talk like that? Because that's just the way I speak. I do apologize if uh, it upsets you. Uh, there we are, stopping in to say hi. Love you, Scotty, from Saskatchewan. Jason, we love you in Saskatchewan. Do you know Manitoba? There you go. What about that, you see? How's it going? It's Dinky Doo, Ellie Law. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Guys, if you haven't got the phone in number, then it's there. We're going to be starting the Scotty McClue YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now, 0141 628 9795. All right, 0141 628 9795. And, uh, we, you know, we might try it. We might even try a little call 
on here to see if anybody likes it. There's the wonderful Disco Pete, the most generous man in the world. And Disco Pete is so very kind. And yesterday, I am still from uh, um, from America. Yes, I had to think there. Where what was that big continent called? <laughs> from America. Yes, indeed. And uh, what he was saying from the Carolinas, in actual fact. And uh, he was just saying how much he enjoys the lives. And he's an incredibly generous, generous man. Wonderful stuff. An ex-veteran. Well, not an ex-veteran, a veteran. How's it going, everybody? Loved listening to you in the 90s. Ah, Richard, you remember, you know, the 90s. Now, you see, we're talking, you know, quite a long time ago, 30, 30 29 years. I'm in my 30th year of late night phone in. Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can. Uh, was it Atlantic 252 back in the day? I used to sit up late and listen every night as a teenager. No, uh, there were several stations, but it was mainly what's now known as the Bower Stations. And uh, that was Scotty McClure's big stamping ground. Scotty, will the phone-in be broadcast on YouTube? Glenn, yes, it's a YouTube phone-in. It's live on YouTube. There it is there, you see, fantastic. Scotty McClure, YouTube phone-in. Call Scotty now, 0141628 Have you been to Tobermory? I know Tobermory like the back of my hand. I used to go on holiday to Tobermory when I was a wee one. I think the first time I went to Tobermory, I'd be about nine, eight or nine. <clears throat> In fact, I probably had my ninth birthday when I was there. I was eight. So there we are. And it was the start of the pier at Craig Newer. And uh, the Columba, built in 1964 by Hall Russell and Aberdeen, one of three sisters, the Klansmen, the Columba, and the Hebrides. And I was taken up to the bridge of the Columba, and I sailed. I even got a chance to steer her across the Sound of Mull. Isn't that wonderful? So, Tom and Maury, we love it. The Mishnah should tell. My mother and father knew Bobby McLeod very well. And the McLeods are lovely, lovely family. And um, Bobby and my father would have a tune when we were in Tobermory. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. I used to play down at the pier. There was a little set of steps, and there was a big motor launch owned by David McBrain, 1928 Limited. And um, she was called the Loch Buoy. So I don't know if anybody can remember the Loch Buoy in Tobermory and Captain Teig. Tremendous stuff. There we are. Dinky do, I say. Lovely to have you all with us. Thank you for the TikToks. Get phoning people. Wonderful. Ready when you are, Scotty. Excellent, Glenn. That would be rather good. And we could try it out. When does the number go live? Well, Richard, we could actually try it live this morning. Just as an experiment. If nobody minds, it's a terrible term, guinea pig. But if nobody minds trying it out, I'll see. If we could make that number go live for you, who knows what the future will bring, I say. How amazing is that? So uh, we'll let you know about it. We tried it last night for the first time, and it was a massive, massive success. Just terrific. So there you go. Uh, I'm from Blingley. I just walked out my house and wiped my feet. I'm Ad Hunter. Yes, it did. Sometimes you should wipe your feet before you go out the house. <laughs> Scotty, can I ring you? Well, we'll try it, Glenn. Yes, we'll let the, the equipment heat up. You know, a thousand pound cash call, the phrase that pays. Indeed, Mad Hunter, talk of a thousand pounds. Have you ever seen one of these? What about that? A million pound note, one million pounds. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> there you are, a million pound note. <clears throat> Now, what about that? Share as the search you can, guys. Lovely to have you. I can ring you. Uh, yes, but it won't be live as yet, Glenn. We're just heating everything up. Let me see what's what on here. Let's have a look and see what is what. There we go. I'll just pop in uh, some details for you, and we'll see if it works. <laughs> you can't beat that, can you? It's just amazing. So we're gonna we're gonna try and see if we can get this working for you. It would be rather a good thing do it live during the program if we actually got it to operate, wouldn't it? It'd be amazing. Fantastic. So there you go. Uh, right, that's that. We'll see what happens here. 
Um, and uh, remember not to give out your number or leave your number or anything like that. Hi, handsome from the Philippines. Do you know Enor Fortin, Ernie Fortin? We had a lovely lady on from Manila the other day in the Philippines. Isn't that incredible? Good morning from the UK. Alexa, lovely to have you with us. Dinky do, never scroll, never troll, folks. You're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag Floatie, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. This is Sunday morning for you. Can everybody follow me if you haven't followed me? Can you share the videos? Can you get liking? Let's make this work. I've just seen a lovely thing happen. Geodog has joined us from South Africa. Good morning, everybody. You have a live influencer sticker. Is that for influencing women to keep their horn in their hapney? Ah, yes, HGS. Where did that arrive? What is that? Am I blue ticked yet? Am I verified? We should be. That's what should be happening on here. Good morning from Toll Cross. Scotty, happy Sunday. Hashtag float eye. Welsh Logan, a very happy Sunday. Did you get your answer in the Q&As? Yes, a special video for Welsh Logan. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Independence for Wales. Good morning, Sir Scotty. Good morning, Sir Geodog. How lovely to have you with us. I hope you are well, sir. I salute you. There we are. Tremendous. That's what it's all about. Scotty, do I withhold my number? Uh, no, it it should be fine because only I would see anything coming in. Scotty, how do I grow up? D10, you grow up to be absolutely outstanding the same way you've been all your life. So it's just a development from one stage to another. There you are. Don't grow up too quickly, though. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do when I grow up. There we go. Did you invest in the mumbling pants all these years ago? You'll be worth a fortune. Ah, Gary, yes, indeed, the mumbling pants. I did thank you for answering the big question everybody wanted to know. No blue tick, but surely you're getting a golden diamond studded massive tick. HGR, you are so very, very kind. TikTok, stop talk show. TikTok should be letting uh, everybody see this all the time. There are 800 million people on TikTok, so Scotty McClue should have 800 million followers. Yes, we need to get that sorted. Football player from Edit, we've already done it, Finley, this morning. We only do one a show now, because we're getting asked that quite a lot. Glenn says, can I be the guinea pig? Have you got the number, Glenn? Uh, you know, did you get the number? Let's try it. And it's an awful term, that guinea pig, isn't it? What did I do with the number? Oh, here it's here. Right, if you haven't got the number, when we start the Scotty McClue YouTube phone-ins, that's it there, the Scotty McClue YouTube phone-in. Call Scotty 0141-628-9795. Should be absolutely free, Glenn. Did I show you the million-pound note? There we go. Unfortunately, I don't think it's the genuine article, but it is still quite good to see it, doesn't it? It, it makes your day. So I'm sending one of these to every single person in the world. <laughs> right, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? You get that through the post and the wee envelope. Are you doing the phone ins now? Well, we are, but on YouTube, we're going to do one a week to start with and see if there's a demand. You've got to test these things. You know, I went on a, a guy's phone in this week and, um, you know, explained to him one or two facts. There we are. I went shooting at a Bisley event yesterday. Really wish you were there. When you say a Bisley event, were you over at Bisley Geodog? How amazing that would be. I had a friend who was a member of the British Army rifle team. Now, you don't get much better than that, really, do you? Uh, you know, unless it's the South African Army, British Army rifle team from way back. Are you doing fun ends right now? No, well, not right now. It's now okay. Yeah, try it, Glenn. Uh, and we'll see if it works. I don't know if it'll work, but we can try it and see what happens. Let me just see if people can hear you. There we go. Give it a shot, and uh, and uh, we'll see if it works. Yeah, I'm all point three oh three SMLE. Now SMLE, that's the Lee Enfield, is that right? The Mark Four. It really did well. Aha! Have you got sights on that geo? Have you got the old crosshairs? There we are. Fantastic. It's now okay. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl, Glenn. Let's see if it works. 
Oh my goodness me, hang on. Wow. Hello, Glenn. How you doing, Sky? How you doing, our guys? Can we hear Glenn? It's taking time. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to the phone coming on, Scott. Phone coming on, lads. So lovely to hear oh, from yeah. you. Nice. Well, how have you been doing? Oh, we're great. We're great. Wonderful things are happening all the time, Glenn. Do you know what I mean? When you go through a difficult patch or a bad patch in life, yeah. just remember it always gets darkest just before the dawn. You've got to see the worst before you can get the better then, Scott. You have, you have. Now, I'm going to try something here, Glenn, and I want to know if you can still hear. So, wait a minute. Yeah, I, need, yeah. I, I need to do a bit of work on this one. This requires a little bit of work. But if you can tell me if you can hear me. So, there we go. Stick with me. Sure. Can you still hear me, Glenn? I can, Scott, yeah. You can. That's fantastic. Yeah. Wonderful. So there we go. Yeah, that's brilliant. Now, I just need to know. Ah, can you hear me now? Yeah. Glenn, can you hear me? Glenn? No. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you. Could you hear me? I, I could, yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm going to try it just once more. Right, so there we go. I'm just going to try this. Can you hear me now? Hello, Glenn? Nah, right, we need to do a bit of work on that one. Can you hear me now, Glenn? I can, Scott, yeah. But you couldn't hear me a minute ago. Uh, it was just, you were just clicking and stuff. Just clicking, so you couldn't hear my voice when the clicking was I going on? Know. Right, right, that's fine. I need to do a bit of work on that one then. Though, it? Oh, it's uh, Glenn, it's fantastic, and it's very good of you to ring. Are you are you gonna do some jingles then on, on for it? Yeah, well we'll get we'll have to build it up. You see, these things all take time. It doesn't just happen overnight. Because remember, I'm just working on it myself. And I'm not the the most sort of technically competent person, but I want to get uh, I'll get a few graphics so you can see the name. Excellent. Guys, can you all hear Glenn? Let me know if you can hear Glenn. I think, Scotty, I think uh, if you can get it up to the standards that you're used to us. Yeah. You know, Sheffield. Yeah, Sheffield was the yeah. big one, wasn't it? If you can get it up to Magic and all that, an hour. Oh. oh, wow. So we'll get it out of that. Yeah. Glenn, I'm going to dash on. That was so good of you, but thank you. Yeah. Salt man. That, that's amazing. Hey, a dinky doola. Have a lovely day. See you, buddy. Top man. Well, there we are. That's Glenn just trying out our phone system. How amazing is that? We've got to do a bit of work here. Uh, so there we are. Wonderful stuff. Yes, indeed. Good morning, Scotty. How are we? Says Banky boy. Dinky do Banky. Yes, says Cookie. How the devil are you, sir? We're wonderful. Mad Scotsman, that's all we need on a beautiful British Sunday morning. Yes, indeed, Stokesy. Very good for you. Wonderful stuff. Now then, I hear Glenn. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Yes, Mr. Holmes. There we are. Do you like One Direction? Well, I used to be a member of a boy band, Emily, called No Direction. And uh, they were very good. Uh, one shoot at a static target at 1,000 metres. Must be done through open Parker Hill peep sites. Ah, fantastic, Geo Dog. That's pretty good stuff. There we go. Brilliant call. Cheers, Scotty. Not at all, Glenn. Thank you so much for making that call and joining us. We obviously got to do a little bit of adjustment there. Um, hello from the Scottish Borders. You ended Cardi B with ease. You ended Cardi B with ease. Don't know what you're meaning there, Jordan. Fantastic. But there we are. We'll work that one out. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you if you've just joined us. You're watching Scotty McClue. This is the big one. Sunday morning. Nothing gets past me, of course. And so much to talk about. We don't talk about terribly serious matters, but if you do have a comment about what's going on at the moment, feel free to say so. Also, just to let you know that um, 
on the YouTube channel. So can every single one of you subscribe to my YouTube channel? You'll see the URL right in front of you there. Excuse me a second. Quick comfort break. Whew, very hot in the studio this morning. I think it's probably time for a sip of water. There you are. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Tower of Rose. So very, very kind of you. Taurus. Taurus Rose. Yes, Taurus Rose. Tower of Rose. Listen to me. What's that like? Last year I won a silver. Yesterday I only got bronze. Listen, it's the taking part. You know you're an excellent rifleman. Fantastic. Have you ever heard of the Cameronians? Uh, what do you usually talk about? Well, Jonathan, we talk about everything on here. But it's pretty intelligent chat. So I would imagine you'll fit in well. There we are. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Was the first word spoken by Alexander Bell on the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell taught at my old school. He was from Paisley in Scotland. And um, he invented the telephone because he was trying to get a device. His daughter suffered from deafness, and he was trying to get a device to help her. That was the telephone. And I have benefited from two beautiful people. One is Guglielmo Marconi, and the other is Alexander Graham Bell. What's your thoughts on AI? Well, I've got a lot of it, as you know. <laughs> no, I've got GI. I've got genuine intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a very interesting field, Jonathan. Very interesting, but a very big field. Uh, so, so are you, Scotty. You'll do very well indeed. Aha. Yes. Um, now, I can remember somebody telling me when you've got a shotgun to keep a little bit ahead and below. Do you know any truth in that one, Geodog? There we are. Last time you had a sip of water, you started slurring your words shortly afterwards. This is the kind of thing that can happen. Oh, that's good water. Very nice. Now, we like a sip of uh, good Scottish Adam's Ale Aqua. Uh, wonderful stuff. Scotty, I was in Sheffield and went to the famous bakers across the road from the Wednesday ground. Ah, Glenn, very, very nice. We like that. And did you get yourself a bit of crackling and a bit of applesauce? I use AI tools all the time. Yes, it did, Jonathan, but you have your own intelligence. Don't let them run you. You know, so often the computer tells us what to do. I was setting one up yesterday. It's going, do this, do that. The assistant is telling you. Ah, yes. A uh, business must be done with a point three oh three short magazine, the Lee Enfield. John Reith that started the BBC, I am sure he had been to America, took over Lee Enfield Rifles as managing director, and they uh, doubled the output. So there we are. Are you on the Loch Catherine water supply? Yes, we are indeed HGR. Sir Walter Scott, they're taking over. Jonathan, yes. We need to watch Animal Farm. George Osborne. And George Osborne, ha, <laughs> apologies to George Osborne, of course. He did not write that one. <laughs> the man's actual name was Eric Blair. So there you are. Fantastic stuff. Eric Blair. Uh, yes, sir. Called the leading target. Tremendous stuff. Sorry, called leading the target. Absolutely. Very, very good. So just a little bit ahead and a little bit below because... You're allowing for a trajectory, am I correct? Love the steamboat in Loch Catherine. It's actually Loch Catherine, not Loch Catherine. So it's C-A-T, then you can miss out the H, uh, and uh, it's Loch Catherine. Loch Catherine. And, um, or is it Loch Catherine? Loch Catherine. Yes, I think it's just Loch Catherine. So that would be K-A-T-R-I-N-E, Loch Catherine. And the steamboat is the Sir Walter Scott. And she is steamed because then there's no diesel fumes to uh, even uh, go into the water. George Orwell, what are we talking about? Fantastic. I don't know where that came from. It used to be. Uh, that was another name, wasn't it? Absolutely. George Orwell. But George Orwell's name was Eric Blair. He was an Etonian, if I remember. Uh, so there we are. The SMLE is made out of good old British steel. 
wonderful hard old rifle shears. Yes, indeed, Geo Dog. And I'm also thinking, uh, was Lee, en did Lee Enfield start in Britain as an American rifle, though? Uh, the BSA, Birmingham Small Arms Company, BSAs that did the motorbikes. Yes, I live near Sir Walter Scott's house. Ah, Jonathan Abbotsford in the borders. How beautiful. There we are. MDP, what a lovely thing to say. MDP is calling me Brian Blessed. What a wonderful compliment. Superb actor. Right, there we are. Tremendous stuff. Wonderful, rich voice. Uh, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Scotty McClue, hashtag float eye, popping up to say hi to you. Sunday morning, nothing gets past me, of course. Uh, Star Doggy, thank you very much. This is an interesting chat. Well, Jonathan, everything on here is interesting. What you put out, you'll get back several fold. Does the Sir Walter Scott still sail? I see made of the Locks Restoration is well under the way. Yes, now both the Waverley and the Maid of the Loch were engined by Rankin and Blackmore of Greenock, who made paddle steamer engines. And the head of Rankin and Blackmore and I were very good friends. Lovely, lovely man. There we are. Views falling. No killer smile. Views never fall. They go up and down. It's a bit like the stock market, Scott McClure's views. And you've got, remember, don't be fooled by the little figure in the corner because that runs into several thousand by the end of the stream. Are you with me? So it's never, ever, ever a concern. Scotty McClure is able to attract on radio quarter of a million people per half hour. The reason I know this is because I've done it. All right? So there's you for starters. So anything you say that might be a little snide about views falling and all that sort of stuff, no. No question of that. People come and people go. I shall be here. I am the brook. I go on forever. Now, have you ever heard of a poem called The Brook? Like the babbling brook. Have a look at that and it says, Man may come and man may go, but I go on forever. Isn't that lovely? That's the brook. So there we are. So there you go, killer smile. So never, ever, ever you worry about Scotty McClure's appeal to the general public. Over the last 30 years, it goes up and it goes down. There we are. And one of the reasons they don't want Scotty McClure in the radio market is because it absolutely skews the market. Everybody starts listening to that station and all the other stations have to clamor. You see, and they don't like that. So now you know. Uh, there we are. Now then, I'm running my first webinar next Tuesday. Any tips from a pro like you? Yes, Jonathan. Just enjoy being you. You have the knowledge. So get it out there and let people ask the questions. You'll do this anyway, but you'll be listening to the questions and then you'll be giving out your answer. Wonderful. Lucky people attending your webinar. Tremendous stuff. Remember to get the right angle so you're looking at the camera. Nowadays, there's so many people on different platforms. Some of them, I mean, some of the politicians were dreadful during that lockdown. You know what I mean? Looking up all over the place. Oh, there you go. So there you are. So look at the camera when you're doing it, Jonathan. That's a great help to the people. There we are. I'm running it uh, next week. Is it next Tuesday? Good. Good luck for Tuesday. Your phone lines used to be jam-packed. Folk were pulling their hair out trying to get through. 460,000 calls in one week. So there we go. And I will take on the chin what TikTok can give me in terms of viewing figures. And the people will decide if they like these lives or not. Once you stop watching, I stop talking. Not a problem. So there we are. Fantastic. Yes, indeed. Wonderful. I'm not worried. Well, don't be worried, killer. You seem to be very concerned. I was just saying, yes, but you weren't saying properly. You were going on the little figure in the top right-hand corner. That is not indicative of who watches the live stream. That's what I'm just saying. Yes, have you got it? 
Happy Sunday morning. I don't mind people saying, but I like when we give them the facts. Happy Sunday morning, Scotty. Jimmy, lovely to have you with us. Happy Sunday morning to you and a big dinky do from Scotty McClue. Quality check. Most modern barrels can handle only 15,000 rounds till Dunut. 15,000 rounds. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yes, en the engineering of the barrel. I thought you were talking about that's what they could fire. Uh, 15,000 rounds. But no, they could fire that in their lifetime, Geodog. Am I correct? And then they're out of proof. That sort of idea. I do understand. Do you believe in the afterlife? Nathan, I'm probably living an afterlife now. I've gone into big country houses from the 1700s and known my way about. For I, I know this house. I'm not a stranger here. Incredible. So perhaps we're all having an afterlife. And I used to say to my beautiful little Labrador, Lord Clyde, he was small. Lord Reith was huge. Not fat, just huge. And uh, I used to say, to little Clyde, who are you? Because he was just so beautiful. I wondered if he was my father <laughs> in the afterlife, you see. So do I believe in the afterlife? Of course. We're not going to learn all this experience and knowledge and wisdom. We're not going to live a good, clean, thoughtful life. We're not going to dedicate part of our lives, a big part of our lives, to other people. And then just lie in the cool brown earth. Our bodies might do that, but the rest of us, our spirits and our knowledge and our information will move on to the next step. There we are, by the grace of God. Good, orderly discipline. Good morning, Sir Scotty Stanzi Barr. How lovely to have you with us from the north of Ireland. Now, that's at, at Belfast. That's what I'm saying. Margaret Thatcher was the best PM we've ever had. Well, we hand on, I did put that out as a subject one night. I won't relate to you all of the responses I got, but it was interesting. So there we are. Very interesting. <laughs> she was a very clever woman. She was just an ordinary woman uh, as regards her sort of social style. She was very clever. She was a very good leader. Her leadership was excellent. Had she not started to think about messing with the City of London, she would have been Prime Minister for much longer. And, um, you know, but she did terrific economic damage to Scotland because the Scots are not big Tory voters. And that almost wiped out the Conservative Party in Scotland. And I'm very concerned about the Nats getting involved with these green people. So there you go, because not everything's as green as it's cabbage looking. There we are. So that's it. Hey, Scotty Lenzok, at what point do your clothes come off? Am I in the wrong app? No, no, you're in the right app. They come off usually maybe around one in the morning and go back on about six fresh ones. So there you are. No, but uh, the SMLE is known to have handled up to 50,000 rounds before going down. Yes, indeed. Well, I suppose there's a lot. I mean, you think you've got an explosion at one end and you've got a huge velocity traveling through. You know, so yes, you're going to have problems. You called Alex. I did pad Jeff Smith. I called Alex on Wednesday night to explain to him. I was getting a bit uh, irritated by the way he was talking about Scotland. And I thought, I don't think this man knows anything about Scotland. I shall have to inform, educate, and entertain him. And that's what I did. There you are. What's your thoughts on the SNP and the Greens of a coalition? I don't like it, Chris. And it's also been sort of sneaked in, you see. If Scotland's supposed to be democratic, they should have asked the Scottish national people if they were happy to join with the green people. Because they are worry about the green people's credentials with regards to the monarchy, you know. And uh, the Queen is the head of state in Scotland. That will never change. She is our sovereign lady. That will never change. And we've had a monarchy for 2,347 years. 
So that's not going anywhere, I can tell you. But the problem is, if the Greens push an anti-monarchist agenda, they could end up toast, and so could Scottish independence. So can you see where I'm coming from? Margaret Thatcher, best prime minister in the last 100 years, do you think so? What about Alec Douglas Hume? What about Harold Macmillan? What about Anthony Eden? Now, Anthony Eden got a very, very rough end of the stick. And I think Macmillan was behind the treachery there, a stab in the back, because no matter what politicians tell you, they'd all like to be prime minister. Yes, indeed. Margaret Thatcher crushed the North and you will never recover. We're hand out no, very, very difficult to recover. That's why Scotland, that's really what's behind Scotland independence, as far as I'm concerned, is that we hang on to our own money and do up our country. Yes, indeed. Get yourself to Killeen Castle for a wonder, Scotty. You'll love it. Chris Ruddy, I know Killeen Castle like the back of my hand. When I was young, it was owned by the Kennedy family. And then it was transferred to the National Trust for Scotland. And I have a picture of me aged about six or seven, perched on the cannon in the gardens at Killeen Castle. And I remember the boat cradle. My mother loved it. I love the cupola, the rotunda inside. Lovely, lovely house. Yes, the Kennedys used to own Killeen. They were on President Kennedy had a flat in Killeen Castle. There's a bit of information for you, La. So there you are. Yes, indeed, so, so many rounds until the barrel is done out. And what happens to your dog? It obviously goes out of proof. Does it become dangerous if the barrel's got a bit of slack in it? Uh, or does it just reduce the, um, the velocity and the efficiency of the rifle? Scots are at a deficit per person official. No, 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 no. Padgy, that's what you've been told. If you look at these so-called official figures, I looked at last year's, and there was an entry in it that said non-specific entry. Yes? So it wasn't revealed. Now, no accountant would ever tolerate non-specific entries in reality. So why did we have that? Yes, not available. That was it. The figure wasn't available. You see, so the Scots cannot be at a deficit because they don't have their own money. You see, they give it all to Westminster. Are you with me? So if you gave me all your money, how could you have an overdraft? Because you don't have any security. Are you with me? The great thing of TikTok Live is that it keeps playing while I go back uh, to my home screen. Ah, Jonathan, excellent stuff. I'm a free spirit today, Scotty. You are Lenzok. You're a beautiful free spirit and a lovely, lovely person. Always remember that. Guys, can I tell you, we don't need to give time checks on TikTok Live, but can I tell you that we're just coming up to 11 o'clock? So if any of you are going for the 11 o'clock bus, you may well miss it. But do be careful. Don't be running out in front of anything else. So that's it. So it's just coming up to 11 o'clock. The second it's 11 o'clock, I shall tell you. We've just had the beautiful Maria Knight on here, and she has sent me gifts. Maria, you are so kind. Guys, I don't normally do appeals for gifts or anything because there's zero obligation for you to do so. But if you've got any spare TikToks, I'm saving up for equipment for the YouTube phone-in. And I would also welcome... Uh, an extra few pennies. It just makes all the difference when you're in the shop. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. Don't panic. It's 11 o'clock. I just thought I'd give you a time check. You know, very, very important. Uh, yes, indeed, you're a very free spirit, Lenzok. Now, Scotland out. So there you are. Yes, Maria Knight, thank you. That was a beautiful cup of tea. You are so generous, Maria. Bless you for all your lovely gifts. What would you know about the economy, your boy head? Well, dower house, dower house. Let's start with me knowing every single penny that's in Scotland. Yeah. Our greatest Scottish economist ever, Gavin Macron, 
RGL Macron, uh, did the report, the Macron report, in I think it was 1975. Now, wonderful economist, superb economics, and um, and of course he was part of Scotland's economic planning department. So there we are, fantastic stuff. So I have studied for about 50 years leadership, economics, finance, all these things. I used to be a banker with a B. All right, so there you are. So there's a start for you, Dowerhoos. So I can tell you every penny that's in Scotland. I also look at the world's economies. I also know that Scotland gives 75 billion pounds a year to Westminster. I also know that Her Majesty the Queen, our Sovereign Lady, First Lady of Scotland, is virtually self-financing. So there you are. So what would I know about the economy, ya bohid? A lot more than you. There we go. How about that? The Brits want a small percentage chrome into their gun steel. Hence its hardness. Hardened steel, in other words, geodog, it has a good temper. It is well-tempered. Am I right? So there we go. Yes, Scotty, thank you, Ben. Had an explosion at one end this morning. Well, Darren Hoos, it just depends on what you work at. I hope you'd managed to run away well clear of it. So there you are. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. Has someone ever stolen from you in the past, Scotty? Only financially, uh, a very, 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 very bad man in a so-called business deal and uh, managed to absorb my life savings. But apart from that, no. So I've only met one bad man. Nobody wants to leave GB anymore. 36 billion annual deficit. Why would we? Uh, Darahus, what are you talking? 36 billion annual deficit. The UK is three hundred and sixty billion down the swanee one hundred billion of that's the pandemic two hundred and fifty two sixty billion is brexit with absolutely nothing to show for it so leaving europe was the biggest act of self-harm since the first world war there you go now Dauerhus. what would you know about the economy and you have 36 billions, just a lot of bunkum. They are, you're a dumpling heed. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do Maria Knight. Thank you for sending me 10 beautiful postcards. Maria, you don't need to send anything. It's just so welcome. So lovely. And I'm buying new equipment for the new phone in. So there we are. So it's just, just so kind of you. Maggie was right to stop the bleed of money into subsidies for industries that were losing money. Well, yes, I know, Darius. What she should have done was modernize them. Can you imagine the Glasgow shipyards, the Scottish shipyards? Yes, Hall Russell, Aberdeen, Ferguson's, Scots, Lithgow's. Yes, into Newcastle, Swan Hunter. You know, over to uh, Vickers at Barrow. Barrow and Furnace, you know, all these companies, can you imagine if they'd modernized them? Do you know when a gentleman was building the QE2 at John Brown's in Clyde Bank in 1967, he looked up at a machine, and I think it said Beardmore 1893 or something like that. So can you imagine if Thatcher had got the money there? What Thatcher did was she sold off these yards cheap to an organization that I think her husband was a part of. Now, tut, 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 Margaret. Yes, there you go. Uh, share the live, everybody. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Geodog says, not dangerous, but the accuracy is totally lost. So in other words, they won't go the distance, Geodog. Yes, but a gun out of proof is dangerous, isn't it? Yes, indeed. And when the lock starts to get a wee bit slack. 36 million deficit for what, Dowerhoos? What are you talking about? That's not Scotland's figure. 
not the true figure. Remember, the trade figures are included in the UK, not Scotland. News flash, wakey wakey sleepy boy. There we go, fantastic. The bullet's not spun sufficiently to maintain accuracy, so it doesn't have its screw-like capacity. Aha, uh -huh. because it uh, spirals, doesn't it? Am I right? Dinky do, Will Thomas, welcome, welcome. Dinky do says Lenzok. Lovely to have you with us, Lenzok. We're up for another five minutes, guys. Thank you for my lovely cup of tea, Maria. You're such an angel. Wow. Now, guys, the YouTube phone in's coming, so get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. There's the number. The Scotty McClure YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now. 0141628 Massive. We tested the number this morning. Needs a little bit of refining, and we are in business. Glenn called from Sheffield, and it what a treat. The guy smiled me now. That's a big sad. Oh, not a tall Captain Kananu Mukar. So there we are. Skipped. Absolutely. Luckily, replacement barrels are in plenty supply. Aha. Uh -huh. Have they a good temper? So Geodog, as well as being a top geologist and a very, very wise man, and uh, about to be Dr. Geodog. Um, are you also an engineer? Yes, you're into engineering. Am I right? Let me go live with you. Connor, we will do. We went live yesterday. Scotty, this is an amazing place. Are you loving it, Glenn? TikTok with all these beautiful people from around the world. You just can't go wrong. I just hope that TikTok are pushing it out there so that every TikToker gets a chance to watch with us. That would be amazing. Uh, fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can. 9439. I thank you. Used to have a slot in Clyde 1. I did, Susie. I did the Clyde Cayley on a Saturday night. I think it was Clyde 2, actually. Uh, very good, wonderful stuff. But we popped into Clyde 1 because George was working next door. And George is a top man. Uh, great people at Radio Clyde. I knew the man that started up Radio Clyde very, very well indeed. He was very helpful to me in the early days. He was a man called Jimmy Gordon. And Jimmy had been the political correspondent for Scottish television in the days when it was run by Bill Brown, Sir William Brown. Wonderful man, lovely man. Another man who was a terrific help to me in the early days. These people were very kind. And uh, Bill Brown uh, was uh, part of the um, the the group that um, gave the money for Radio Clyde. I think it was sixty thousand pounds, and I can remember that. And they had the chairman, the chairman of the Clydesdale Bank was involved, the chief general manager. Uh, then William Brown, so Bill Brown uh, was there. Jimmy Gordon. And who else was on? Kenneth McKellar, the singer, another of my great heroes, was on the board of Radio Clyde. You had all these wonderful, wonderful people. Why do you look like an Egyptian book pretending to be Scottish? Adam, what a beautiful creative take on it. I suppose because I have Egyptian godlike features under a Scottish bonnet. It might be to do with that, you see. Scotty, happy Sabbath day. Happy Sabbath day, hit songs. Scotty, dinky do. Uh, God save the Queen, says Susie. Absolutely, Susie. Just a bit about the economy. Ah, dower who says back. We love it. Just a bit about the economy. Serial entrepreneur and founder of seven companies. But thanks for asking. Now, dower who's... Are these seven companies still extant? Are they making money? As a serial entrepreneur, you should actually know a little bit about the economy. Now, clearly you don't from anything you've said. So let's raise the game a bit. You need to acknowledge me and I will acknowledge you. That's how it works. But if you come on cheeking up with a lot of nonsense, then you're just going to get a lot of nonsense back. Capiche? 
Okay, there you go, serial entrepreneur. Uh, can you shout me out, please, says Charlie Pickle. Charlie Pickle, dinky do from Scotty McClure. Are you a lot? Uh, I'm the first lot of the internet. So there we are. That's my official title. Uh, if you're on about Margaret Thatcher, says T Dog, she destroyed the economy and shut the mines where I live. Yes, and where I used to live. So you've got to remember, I lived in Sheffield. Uh, we're just out Sheffield, outside Sheffield. And you had the mines at Barnsley. And you had all the collieries around Sheffield. I mean, incredible. Then I worked in the northeast. You had all the collieries around Easington and Ashington. All that. The place was absolutely black with coal dust when I was young. Can we do a live? The Book of Time, I'm sure we can. Maggie can't have liked then as much as she sold them duff companies losing money. No, no. Darhus. These companies were intentionally starved of funding to finish them off and sell them cheap. Do you not know how economics work? Do you not know how business works? Yeah? Okay. Yes, you keep saying these silly things, but you tell me you're a businessman. Mm -hmm. Can't see it myself. Hey, my dudes. Uh, Susie says, we need to vote the SNP out. Sturgeon couldn't run a bath, never mind the country. Now, Susie, I... Really would thoroughly disagree, but I noticed this week they've tied up with the Greens. Now, that's a real, that's a plummet job, you know. So I think that might be enough to kick independence into the long grass. There we are. Look at Bootye. Callum, would you look at Bootye? That's what I say. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. Squeeze box. Uh, we tune for the Sabbath. Yes. Darlings, right, we tune for the Sabbath day from Scotty McClure, just for you, dinky do. We're breaking up, breaking up's very hard to do. Are you still in the radio? I miss your banter, sir. Darhus will be starting new on YouTube. Come on there. Scotty, what comes around goes around, and what goes around comes around. Glenn Melvin Peacock, I thank you so much for your contribution. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. Have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Beautiful Sunday. Yep. And uh, thanks for watching Scotty McClue. Keep with us. Never miss a second of TikTok. Enjoy the videos. Follow me as soon as you possibly can. This is Scotty McClue. Say dinky-doo to every single one of you. And ta-da-las! <laughs>